Hello and welcome. There has been some exciting news from Prehistoric Kingdom's Dev Diary. We have a new dinosaur, the Mutaborosaurus, our first Australian dinosaur. And I must say, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail, looks very paleo accurate, and the patterns look absolutely beautiful. Now, the team have been hard at work, working on animal behaviors. So it, they're saying here that animals are going to make choices depending on their internal statistics like stamina, endurance, health, and their metabolism. So maybe um, an animal have been out in the, in the hot sun all day, dehydrated, and will wander over to the lake or the river to get a drink. Uh, maybe it's too hot, so they'll go and sit in the shelter or in, in the shade, try and get out of the heat. And uh, if they've not eaten for a while, maybe they will start walking back to their food trough to get some well-needed calories in. And it also says that there is a new AI system that will have a huge impact on future features like hunting. Now, this is very exciting because this will make the animals seem more lifelike. And also, it will be very cool to watch um, because who doesn't like to see a bit of action uh, whilst building their park? But um, I think it'll be very good as well because... Um, the people that are making this game, they're going for very paleo-accurate animals. So it'll be interesting to see how they make these uh, interactions happen. I don't think it'll be anything over the top or anything too silly. I think the animals will hunt uh, like a real animal would actually, you know, in the wild. So I think uh, that's something very, very exciting to look forward to. And here we have a very different type of behavior. This is where animals are going to be taking roots. So maybe this is uh, expanding their territory or just uh, exploring to find where the borders of their territory is going to be. But also uh, it mentions about uh, logically navigating through their environment. So for instance, if they want to get from A to B, uh, on the game at the moment the animal will just walk through boulders and over logs and you know trees and stuff like that uh, where it would actually make more sense to walk around them so you know that will make the animals seem much more you know realistic and more lifelike as well rather than just walking you know over steep lumpy and bumpy grounds and objects it will actually walk around them and take the easiest route which a real animal would actually do and something very exciting here, something very important. They're moving in herds. They do move in herds. <laughs> so we've got some herding behavior to look forward to. Now, I think this is very, very good because this is something that modern animals do. And it's something that dinosaurs definitely did as well. We've seen fossilized footprints of many different individuals all walking together. So we know they definitely did this. Uh, and it says they've been working on basic herding behavior at the moment uh, that will allow animals to form social groups. So we might get some social behaviors as well. That'll be very good. Um, uh, each species has its own natural group sizing, whether it's a large herd, organized pack, or a small pairing. Wow, so this is going to be very good indeed. Now, it also says here that the AI will naturally form multiple groups within a habitat. If there are too many individuals in a given species, laying the potential foundation for further combat encounters and territorial pursuits. So it looks like if um, the environment isn't big enough or there's not enough resources there and there's too many individuals, it looks like they're going to start competing with each other uh, for that territory. So if a herd gets too large, it might be that they kick um, some individuals out and they have to go into exile and form their own herd or their own pack or, or group. Um, and it says this is an area that we'll be definitely um, expanding on um, down the line once 
uh, fighting is in so this looks like it's going to be really good um, so we might get a pack that you know once they start bringing breeding in and you know populations get a bit too high um, they might start kicking certain individuals out uh, maybe certain individuals that aren't pulling their weight um, when they're fighting maybe they're going out on a hunt and one of them is being particularly lazy that uh, individual may get kicked out of the pack and have to go on their own way so it looks really very uh, you know a lot of exciting stuff there to look forward to I really can't wait okay let's move on to the next behavior are you ready you're going to like this one a mutterbuttosaurus taking a swim and also a coelophysis taking a swim now this is really really good i can't wait to see this animals swimming over lakes to get to different territories um, especially i can't wait to see the t-rex uh, taking a dip in the water um, and i wonder if this will move towards uh, more aquatic animals so things like um, crocodiles uh, maybe some early land whales you know that were just starting to go in the water and crawl back out on the side um, i think this would be a good place to start you know start with the animals that live on the land get the swimming animation right and then maybe in the future we might have some sarcosuchus or dinosuchus who knows fingers crossed now it is not only the animals and the dinosaurs that have got new behaviors coming it's also the guests now it talks here about a, a queuing system so you're going to see the guests queuing up for food maybe queuing up to come inside the park um, and it also talks about um, they're going to be uh, moving around the park more logically so they won't be walking over buildings or walking where they shouldn't be walking they're going to stick to the paths and the flooring and the stairs that we put in for them uh, because sometimes you do find that the guests are just wandering all over the place in places they should not be now i hope we do get a few more behaviors as well from the guests it does say and more i think on the way um, so things like uh, you know actually stopping and looking into an enclosure and maybe pointing and you know staring at the animals because at the moment they just walk past as if there's nothing there i'm like for goodness sake there's a tyrannosaurus rex there you're not excited and they just walk past so um i think that would be uh, good to see maybe going up to bins putting some trash in the bins um and maybe even taking some pho some photography you know taking photos of the animals obviously with no flash we don't want to scare the animals now do we um, but yes i hope that we get a few more um you know behaviors from the guests just to make them seem a bit more human at the moment they just walk around like robots and don't really have any personality so hopefully we'll get some new behaviors from them as well and it says here that a lot of the work they've been doing on guest behavior is to uh, work towards um, actual staff that we're going to have in the game. Um, now, they're quite secretive about this. They don't mention much, but they said this is going to come in the future. So that'll be really great. You know, having some zookeepers to go out there and, you know, monitor the animals, maybe some vets and things like that. And they'll be just you know bobbing around the zoo um you know taking care of it maybe some people cleaning up as well emptying the bins um, and and keeping the cages from rusting and breaking you know we don't want any damaged fences where the you know the animals can escape so that'll be really uh, exciting to look forward to as well and they also have a digital art book you can look at where you can see all the concepts and designs that they've made for their dinosaurs and different creatures so if you want to have a look at that some beautiful designs they've got there of all their paleo accurate animals and also a mini soundtrack if you want to have a listen to the beautiful music of the game so there we have it guys a brand new dinosaur on the way a new animal for us to get our teeth into and build a habitat for, some exciting new behaviors to look forward to. This game is really starting to come together. And we also have the Velociraptor. Now, I'm still looking forward to this. We've been waiting a long time. I hope that it's not 
too far away when they finally release it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Leave a comment down below of what you're looking forward to the most. What do you think of the new dinosaur, the Mutaborosaurus? And what do you think of the new behaviours? Are you excited? I know we certainly are. Don't forget to subscribe for more dinosaur content like this. And if you want to see some more Prehistoric Kingdom, check out the playlist on screen now.